Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Cindy and today I am creating a couple of master boards. I've taken two pieces of junk mail that have white backs and have started creating these master boards and as I got going I thought you know I really should just turn on my camera and we could have a chat. So if you have scraps uh, and you don't know what to do with them. This is a great little way to get rid of them is to make master boards um, And I'll show you what we can make out of them in a minute uh, this is my uh, What do you want to call it my my overflowing Get rid of that piece there. We're gonna make these into a rectangle. They're easier to piece together if they're in rectangles um, but this particular set of master boards has no particular purpose. I'm just, you know, making master boards. And what do you do with a master board? Well, let me show you. Let me put this down and I will show you one of the things that you can do with master boards. Now, all of these seem to be going in the same direction. I need to flip it because I want some to go this way. So I made a master board, I, just a little master board. I had three, it was what, that big, eight and a half by four inches. Um, and this particular one will go into a nature journal. That's a nice little tag for a nature journal. This one will go into my pink and green journal. And this one will go into my book journal. These, so three completely different types of, of journal cards from one master board. So I thought today I would finish up making, I got, like I said, I have so many scraps and um, I keep all these little pieces because they do, they fit in these master boards to make a master board so nicely. So that's what we're going to do today. That's it. Let's work on this fabulous Friday. We are making master boards. I have a lot of odd sizes, which at times I will also use, but not today. Today I am using the, I want, I want things that are a little bit more um, rectangular. That's the word I'm looking for, rectangular. It's a good day to be inside here in the Finger Lakes. It's getting very blustery outside. We have a high wind warning. We're expected to get gusts up to 60 miles an hour. So yeah, good day to be inside and not out in the nastiness. When you make a master board, um, like I said, I'm using a couple pieces of junk mail from that I had just had hanging around. Um, this one was an invitation to the to a party, um, and I have it has a beautiful white back. This was a piece of junk mail. This the, uh, this is a heavier cardstock than this one, but they're both heavy enough to hold up when you are using them as journal cards or tags or belly bands. You really can do anything with a master board. I can't pick that up. I cut my nails and I, don't know, I can't pick up anything here. I have this really cool piece of, I'm going to trim that down. This is some embossed paper that actually I did not emboss. I, I bought it this way and I've used it on a couple of different things. I really like it. It's really pretty. I'm going to put it here with that edge off and then we'll just trim that edge down. There we go. I didn't trim very well because it's still too wet and too bully. I should have waited. And now it's stuck to my fingers. Here we go. Making a master board, you are going to get gluey. That's okay. You're going to get stuff everywhere. It's a nice thin piece, I think. Yep, that'll fit in there just fine. Let's nicen up that edge. And obviously this was part of a paper pack. I 
I hope you are all doing well today. I'm working on projects of your own. If you wanted to work on this particular project, it's pretty easy. Um, I need to flip over my glue book page. I know I'm not hardly in camera here, but doesn't you don't need to see me gluing onto a just you know what we're gonna wait now to trim that one down. I learned the hard way. But I can be taught. Now you'll see that I do have some dead spots. I have little pieces that I can put in there. But I also have another way that some of those dead spots are going to get covered up. And you'll see it in a moment. Okay, I have this really pretty red triangle. Just there, can I get, no, nope, I can't get enough out of it. Um, there we go. Let's take just this little piece here. I need to get you off of my scissors. So I have fun. This is one of those things that I don't really think about when I do it. I just do it. There we go. We'll put you over here. And um, then later, just I'm not. I'm looking to see what I can fit in here and and still kind of keep. There we go. We can put a little piece in there. But if I can just fit, fill in these little places. Now this one primarily has solid stuff in it. Ooh, there's a nice little piece. I'm actually going to use it just as it is to cover up this section right here. There we go. And I'm looking through all of these little pieces left over just to see if there's something that will fit and cover. Uh, well, you know, we've got lots here yet. There we go. Okay, sorry, I'm not talking much. I'm just busy creating and finding these little pieces to fit right in there. Okay, I need a piece here and I need a piece here. And I think, oh, and I need a piece here. Okay, well, I don't want to use that because I already have that color in there. That's not big enough. Are you long enough? You're long enough. I could take just a piece off the bottom here. There we go. So I still need a piece here and I still need a piece here. You're not quite wide enough. Oh, you are. There we go. Now that leaves me a long thin strip there, but we'll show you, we'll fix that in a bit. And it looks like I have a, a blank space here, but that's actually part of the margin here. We'll deal with that in a second as well. See, that I got this little piece here. That's all right. What do I want? Something completely different. No, you don't fit. We know that. We've tried that before. Oh, now things are sticking to me all over the place. Okay. I don't like it. We could just do that. Maybe we'll just do that and then we'll fix that little hole with something else. 
You'll see. Okay. There we go. All right, let me cover up my glue stick for a moment. And then we're going to cut off these edges. There we go. Oh, there goes the wind. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's making an, certainly an awful lot of red. Okay, now before we do anything else, I am going to pick up all of these scraps, put them back in here. Doesn't look like I got rid of any. And I just got rid of all of these. And you can't hardly tell. Come on, I can pick you up. All right, all the scraps now are done. There we go. Except for you, which I forgot to cut. There we go. Now you're out of the way. All right, so now I have these two master boards. And um, now comes the part of filling in the holes. Now you can fill in the holes with markers. Um, you can do a bunch of different things. I'm going to fill in my holes with washi. I have a whole bunch of washi that I have pulled out for a different project and we're just going to use them for this one. So I have all sorts of sizes and shapes and colors and it doesn't matter what's what, we're just going to grab it. I just put my glue stick away, didn't I? Grab that glue stick back out. Um, some people wonder why I go ahead and do this, put glue on the back of washi, I mean, because they're already sticky. The problem is with washi is that washi is designed to be picked up and not be permanent. And if you don't make it permanent, hang on, my cut is not as level as it should be. So let's get that lined up on those and it won't be quite leveled on here. That's okay. But now I've covered up that spot. Um, but yeah, washi is, is meant to be not permanent. So I put glue on it to make it a little bit more permanent. I don't want it to be ripping off. You know, if somebody pulls a, uh, something out of a pocket and there are the washi sticks inside the pocket. I don't want that to happen. So I put, stop it. Put, it's trying to curl up on me. I put glue on my washi. And that big white spot that we have there isn't going to be there anymore. There. Okay. Now, where are, there, where are other spots here that could benefit from a little bit? I need some right in there. And I have this just a little thin piece. These were some washies that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. No, at Family Dollar, which I know is the same company. But I thought, okay, for a dollar twenty-five or whatever it was that I picked these up for, it was it was cheap. I thought, I don't know how good you're gonna be. They have been the best washi. I'll tell you, they work beautifully. Okay, I think I want a piece here just to just to have a piece there. Just a little piece. Let's go with just a little piece. This is the fun part of creating. I don't know how much fun it is to watch. If you're, you know, you can skip through to the end if you want to see what we ended up, what I ended up with. But, uh, I, to me, this is the fun part. This is where you get to play and find little pieces and put stuff together. No, I don't want that one. I'm just going through my washies here to see what I have. 
this was actually washi off of a package that I got sent. Not Happy Mail. I had nothing to do with scrapbooking. It was a package of something else, and it was put together with washi tape. And I thought, oh, I am so keeping that. There, that covers that up a little bit because that and like that seam so much. All right, that's enough on that one. Let's take a look over here. What needs to be done over here? Okay, I could use a little bit to cover up that edge because it's not as, uh, it's got a little bit of white gap showing. I don't know where my start is. There it is, maybe? Yep. I would say that's the hardest thing about washi is finding where it starts. Yep. As far as buying washi, I get a lot of my fancy washies from the washi tape shop. Um, but don't don't think about. I mean, think about the ones that are in the Dollar Tree, because I mean it's always a, a bit of a crapshoot. You don't exactly know what you're going to get, but you might find some good good things. Okay, I don't. There's so much plain on this one. I definitely need. A print. Definitely need a print. And this is a nice wide print. It's a pretty flower right there. This one reminds me of wallpaper from the 1940s. I think we had something similar when I was a kid in the living room of our house. A similar type of now, I like the point here, but I don't like the fact that the white shows. So let me find a good see-through washi. I'm looking for a good see-through washi here. That one looks like it might be pretty see-through-y. Okay, I, I found the edge. I can't figure out which way it goes. There, there it starts. If you have a better way of starting your washi and not having to always search for the edge, let me know. I am certainly open for suggestions. A little bit of glue on the back. There we go. I don't know how much that point shows through, but it does a little bit. All right, where else might I want a little bit of color, I think, up here in the corner? I'm, if you notice, I'm not using the same washi twice. I'm just finding different things out of this bin of washies. I haven't used any of this pretty lavender yet. No, and it'll actually kind of go with that other lavender. Um, but yeah, I've gotten washi at Michael's. I've gotten washi from the washi tape shop. Um, I got some for Christmas that I know my husband got on Amazon, but I have no idea where he got it from. Um, there. All right. I think that is covered up enough. And now comes the, the, the other fun part. I really love making master boards because there's so much fun stuff. There's another piece that goes in my bin. You never know exactly what you're going to get. And that's to me is the fun of it. Okay. So this particular piece that's measure is eight and a half by three and a half. Well, if it's eight and a half, then I probably want two and a half. A lot of times I'll flip this over and do it blind, but I want, I think I want three inches. Yeah, let's go with three and three, which leaves two and a half. Okay, we're going to set those aside. So I now have that one, and that one, and this one. Well, I'm glad that that all came out on the same one. Okay, this one is six inches by four, so let's just cut this into three. That'll give me two master boards. And I have a little bit on this one that needs trimming. There we go. So now I have five 
masterboards, all different shapes, all different sizes, out of junk mail and scraps. Come here. Come break apart. Where's my other one? I know there's another one you're hiding. There we go. So we have five. Now, the trick here now is to look at it and say, okay, what is there a journal particular that it might go with? Is there something specific? When I make my masterboard pieces, these are really busy. There is a lot of stuff going on in these. And sometimes I need to calm it down a little bit. So, for example, I'm going to take, we'll start with this one. Uh, maybe we'll do both of those at the same time. We'll see. And I'm going to grab my tissue paper. I have an entire bin. Does, it's so big it doesn't even fit on camera, of tissue paper. Because every time somebody gives me something, I take one of the pieces of paper and I put it in with to be gift wrapped. And I take the other piece and I throw it in here. And I don't know if I want green for this or not, but let's see. So I have a green piece that I'm going to put there. Um, I have some of this. Here we go. We've got a little piece here of sewing paper. This was a pattern. Let me open that up. I don't necessarily want to cover the whole thing, but I think I want to cover at least some of it. So yes, we're going to leave that there. Do I want to do the same thing here? Okay, let's cut that in half. Do I want to do the same thing there? Make similar pieces? My arrow isn't going to be on if I, I'm going to put the arrow there. I think I like that on there better. Okay, let's see what other colors we have. Um, blue. Do I have a pretty blue? I have the, no, I don't want to use that right now. Sorry, I know I'm off camera. Am I off camera? I'm a little bit off camera. Don't I have another blue in here? Oh, I might be out of blue. I have purple. I have pink. Um, pink, pink, pink. Pink might go on that one, so we'll leave that one over there. I have a little lavender. But I don't think I want lavender in there. Um, I really think I want blue on here. Here's a little bit of that kind of blue. Might be too bright. Oh, I have a dark blue. Oh, there we go. There's my light blue. That's what I was looking for was the light blue. And that's the wrong color. That's the better color. Okay, let's stop fussing with the tissue paper. Set that aside. And let's go ahead and add the tissue paper in. We'll just do these three. Now that's obviously too big. And I don't want all of that. I do want my arrow. I like that arrow pointing down. So what this will do is simply calm down. If you'll still see everything underneath it, but it's going to calm it down so it's not quite so in your face as far as colors go. And I am not an in your face kind of person. Okay. Am I in camera? I am. Okay, so you can see, okay, that didn't quite get, let me do that again up there. Put just a little bit of glue up there and bring you guys right up there. Okay, so as you can see, you could still see everything underneath it. It's just no longer shouting at you. And that's one of the things I really like. I don't like it when things shout at me. This one, I think I just want the color. I don't want the fact that it is. Okay, we're going to leave that. I don't know if that's what I want or not yet. Take a little bit of my blue. Tissue paper has, this is gift wrap tissue paper. Um, and tissue paper has a definite grain. So it's easier to tear one way than it is to tear the other way. So that was the easy way to tear. And I don't think I want quite such a big piece. See, when I try to tear it this way, I'm certainly not going to get 
anything close to a straight edge, which is fine. And I want to make it not a straight edge on that side too. There. Oh, that's much better. Okay, let's go ahead and glue that down. So the first, after you make your master board and you're ready to start decorating them, I like to put the layer of tissue paper down next just to kind of give it that. Uh, it helps the focal point. It gives you like a framework for the focal point. It makes it so it's not quite so in your face, but you can still see everything underneath it. All right, and then we'll go ahead and do this one. I uh, maybe not. I don't. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sold on it. I'm not sold on it. But I do like the pink for this one. So we'll grab a little bit of pink for this one. It's a little too much. Do I throw those away? Absolutely not, because you know that those will end up getting used somewhere else. And this one I can bring all the way. Oh, I don't want to cover up my, you know what? Let's flip it so that my flower is facing that way. And it still will peek out from behind my tissue paper. Because I don't want to cover it up. I don't want to mute that. It's already pretty muted. Stop it. Okay. Obviously, we need to switch the glue page. I get a lot out of my glue pages. There, so now that rose is just peeking out there. Perfect. I'll get rid of that. That glue book owes me nothing. Okay, we'll just stick on these three. We'll hold these two for a later time because I don't want to spend my whole day just showing you. I mean, I, I will do it, but I don't want to bore you guys with it. So let me just get those all over there so that they're out of my way. Oh, I like how that kind of came down on that piece there. I didn't even notice that. All right, now I have a bunch of uh, large stickers that were gifted to me by Jacinta in some happy mail. And I really, I think that would go on the rose. Ooh, that might look very nice on that rose with the rose and the rose. Okay. Just looking to see if any of these will fit on here. As far as color, there's one with a, but it's kind of trying to figure out which way the bird goes. There we go. Bird goes this way. I don't know. I might be losing the bird that way. Got a toadstool here. Okay, that might be better because it's got the blues in it, but it has, um, it won't get lost. All right, so I have some stickers that I'm going to use for my focal points, but you could really use anything. I like, really like this Moonlight and Roses. I like how that's coming out. That's what, it says Moonlight and Roses up here, and there's some music behind it. Now, uh, one of the things I could do, and I think I will very gently is color the edge of my sticker. But it's not a lot. It's very, very subtle and it's probably not coming out on camera at all. This is using the, uh, remember, when you're peeling stickers, it's easier to peel the front away from the back rather than, the, don't, don't try to take the back off, try to take the front off. Um, what I and the the scotch tape just kind of holds it holds it in place while you're working at it. I really enjoy these stickers. I like them. They're really pretty. But I will tell you that the jagged edge, the pinked edge, as if it were done with pinking shears, is really hard to get started because you get one or two of them started, but then you got to get all the way down there to get the whole thing. Not the easiest thing in the world. And these, I do not, they're really sticky. So I don't, that's going on crooked. Don't go on crooked. I don't glue these again. 
I cannot get this one to line up. Hang on. Got to concentrate. There we go. Okay, they're generally not that much of a problem, but today they're being a bit of a problem. Now these are a little bit smaller. This, At least this one is a little bit smaller. Um, so I think I'm going to leave this one. I'm debating about my edges and what I want to do with my corners. I think I'm going to leave it like this. Where's my little one? Maybe I'll just little tab it. I'll make it a little tag just to give it some interest. Yeah, I think so. I think that's what we'll do. And this time I am going to go right around the edge. Oh, that one's trying to fall off on me. Okay, I'll fix that in a second. And the nice thing about doing this with the edges is anything that is still white, it not, isn't anymore. This is one of the things that you do have to watch with master boards, is sometimes a piece won't stay put. Now, these are all going to stay put because I put the sticker on them, and I have the... Uh, tape on them but this one isn't staying put so I'm going to use a little bit of Fabri-Tac on it rather than glue stick and that will help it stay put okay I'm going to set that one aside that one's done one okay now this one I kind of like doing that a little off center do you want it off here down here Let's see if I put it down there hang on let me grab my blue stickers or uh, labels these blue labels came from the junk journal studio and I really like them a lot this one actually is a it's a little too big let me find a little one here there are some little ones down at the bottom they're hiding okay okay that one's i have it upside down there we go that might be okay i might like that one better okay i'll put that one up there Okay, let me do this, fix that edge just a little bit, because when I fussy cut these, I did not necessarily fussy cut well. So on this fabulous Friday, I hope you're having a good day. We are going to be just playing here. If you're having a good time, please make sure you hit the like button. And um, I'd like to say a special thank you, by the way, to all of my new subscribers. Or a thank you to my old subscribers. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, come on, tongue, you can work. I would like to say thank you to my old subscribers because you have been here since the beginning. And I appreciate you very, very much. And I'd like to say welcome to all of my new subscribers. Um, many of you are new at the channel. If you're still watching, because I haven't flipped past this point to see where the see what these look like when we're all done. I oh, I had it, I had it, and it fell back on the plastic. There it goes. There we go. You know what you need? You need a flower. You need a flower to just kind of pull you all together. Okay, maybe not such a big flower. Got a littler flower. 
That's just a little bit of green. I don't like that one either. Oh, there we go. Just a little flower to say, hello. Because I got that little flower up there. And this is the same color as that little flower. I bought these flower stickers when I was in Canada. Um, there's a shop in Guelph. And I visited and bought a bunch of things. Because my American dollar goes a little bit further in Canada. And I will be coming up in May and visiting that store again and buying a whole bunch more. I also like going to the Dollar General, no, Dollar Tree. What do you call it up there? Um, because it is actually a dollar. I mean, it's a dollar and a quarter, just like it is here. But because of the exchange rate, it ends up being actually a dollar for me. And that's really cool. There. It's like it came right out of the picture. Now this one I am going to round. This one I definitely want to do the corner. Come on. There we go. Round the corners on. Get in there. There we go. Empty that out. Put my top on. I don't know where it went. And let's do up the edges. I'm being rather bold in my distressing on this one. Come on, go back on. There. So now we've done this one. Where'd the other one go? There it is. So we've done two of them. These both kind of have a nature theme to them. Actually, I guess all of these do. I've gone with a nature theme for, for all of them, but hmm, I'm not sure if I like this now that I've got it here. Let me look for something else here. I can't get that out. I have these backgrounds. Come on. Let's try that. Over to the side, maybe. That covers up an awful lot of it. That's too big. Oh, that's kind of nice. Covers up an awful lot. Do I care? Got to decide. Do I care how much of it gets covered up? Too much. No, I don't like, I don't think I like the backgrounds. Let's double check. Here's one that's kind of a greenish color. Oh, that's kind of nice. Cover up some of that blue. Nope, I'm not liking this. Pausing my video. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I decided that blue was really driving me a little bit crazy. It was too much blue in here, um, which just didn't go with the rest of the everything. So um, I cut off, I cut it down fairly into a fairly big tag or fairly angled tag here. And then I still I really do like that on there. But then I found this butterfly taped to a book page sticker and I'm going to put that on there as well because I think that's going to end up working just fine. Let me get that piece of plastic off of there. That goes away. So and again I'm doing a, another book journal. If you take I'll put the link down below to my uh I did a book journal for me that I'm actually recording in it all the books that I read so that I know what I have read over the years. And I really like it. I like how it came out, but I ended up with a lot of these extra book things left over. 
and I thought I need to make another book journal and I'll make that one for sale. So I'm in the process of making another book journal. I have all the stuff. I'm going to a retreat in uh, March. A couple In two weeks. I'm going to a retreat in two weeks. Can you believe it? I am very excited. Um, it's my very first scrapbooking slash crop retreat uh, slash journal retreat. I've never been to one before. I'm very excited to go to this one. It's in Auburn and it's being run by Scrapbook Creations. If I can find the link, I'll put it down below So because she's got some more coming in the fall. Her spring ones are all filled up and there are no more, there's no more room, but the fall ones, she still has some space left. So I will put that link below if you are interested in coming to Auburn, New York. Oh, I was going to, well, that's all right. You know what? We'll just do it this way. I was going to round it up a little bit and age that sticker just some. And that's not a problem. There, aged. All right. Now we just need to put a hole in it. And I use my, I just got this for Christmas. I love this thing. Oh my glory, I love this thing. Because I can put a hole in and then I can use my little eyelets and I can switch this over. Come on. And press down really, really hard. And I've got an eyelet. Isn't that wonderful? I've never had one of these before. And I love being able to put in eyelets. It can also do grommets. I have had no success with the grommets. I have to work on that. Um, if you have a crocodile of that sort and can tell me how to do grommets, please do so. I am so... I'm sorry if I am out of whack here, but I just am all over the place today. So I have that and it needs, hang on, just a little, I have all of, this is all my extra stuff. Look, I've got a little bit of yarn here that I used on the other one and I'm going to use a little bit more here. This is, these, you know, when I make my book tags and I end up with all these extra little strings, they all go in here and then I can find the exact string that I want for making a tag. And we'll bring you through here and here. And there we go. And so out of those, I still have two to complete. I'll do those later off camera. But I now have two new book tags for my book journal. I have two tags. Oh, look, I use the same Moonlight and Roses. That's all right. I have two tags that can go into my pink and green, and I have two nature tags. This one's a little bit more blue than this one, so I don't know if they'd be in the same journal, but at least they're the same theme. All right, if you've enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit that, that subscribe button and hit like to let YouTube know that you enjoyed it. And um, if you want to get notifications as to when the next piece will come out, go ahead and click the little bell there for notifications. In the meantime, have a wonderful weekend. And this is Cindy signing off.